Captain Redman here, Grindfest Outdoors. Just got done with a <clears throat> game farm hunt with my uncle. I, uh, I've got four pheasants here and three chucker. And I got this thing called the bird hitch from Waterfowl Junkie. For my birthday, I haven't gotten a chance to use it. The way it works is it just goes into the hitch of your truck. And uh, it's supposed to be really easy. I watched a couple videos on it. I'm going to show you what's inside of here. I'm going to do a quick unboxing. I don't think there's going to be much in here. It's a pretty simple idea. It's supposed to be really sharp, so i got to be careful. So, just park those in the hitch of your truck. You got these this serrated edge to be able to uh, get your wings off afterwards. A hitch pin. I'll see. It'd be nice to be able to get this thing extended without needing to put my tailgate up. I'll see if that works. And did it come with a pin? Did not come with the trailer pin, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and use my own. Let's see if this is gonna be long enough. You notice my pin doesn't go all the way through there, which I'm not exactly sure why that's the case. All right, so that took me quite a bit of work to get that pin through. And the, the deal is, is it's just like maybe a sixteenth of an inch off from where the receiver slides in. And so the pin gets caught on this little lip. So I'm probably going to have to end up taking a, a drill bit and reaming out that hole a little. So when I'm out in the field, I'm not messing with it for like, you know, four or five minutes. I mean, at one point I got that, that pin stuck in. So... You know, if Waterfall Junkie ends up ever seeing this video, it, it would be nice for you to just make that hole either a tiny bit lower or, or just expand it out a little bit. I mean, let's see how this thing works. So. Fail. Let's try another one. Fail. I think it helps if you read the directions. The neck's supposed to go down here and the bird's supposed to be up this way, so. Let's see what that is. All right. That feels better. Boom. Oh, yeah, that's the sound you want to hear. Yeah, because that's supposed to be, you know, if you do it right, you can just pull the fucker down right into your five-gallon bucket. Look at that. Got a little number three right there. Save that sucker for later. Yeah, I like that. Just hit it with a hose. I'm supposed to be able to take this motherfucker right over here and just chop this wing off. Boom, you got one wing for transport if you need to. I don't need it because I am home. Breast. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's see if I can do it with a rooster. Here. The cock.
You know what? I'm going to see if this works. I bet you this is going to work. You know, the pheasants have a decent amount of meat on their legs. I may have to cut, but let's just see. Wow, I like that. I am liking that. Look at this. Boom. Pheasant leg. Done. Okay, let's take a chucker. This is a smaller bird. Same concept, right? Drop the head underneath. Get underneath that breastbone. It's probably going to be closer to the size of a, a, a teal or a gadwall, probably. Now there's not a lot of meat on these. I might cut them off. Breasty. Yeah, I love these breasts. Set that over there. For a second here. I will. I think I'll be wearing gloves in the future though. This thing is sharp. Look at that. Probably about the size of the gadwalls, gadwall breast there. Alright, so to wrap up my review here of the bird hitch by a uh, waterfowl junkie, you know, this thing is awesome. Uh, it's definitely a good purchase. I'm glad that I got it for a present. A um, few comments real quick. Mostly crows. Uh, just one quick con, you know. As I had mentioned before, I had a hard, real hard time trying to get this thing into my uh, into the receiver to get the the hitch pin through. Because I'll show you what is going on here. So you open it up like this. You put your cotter pin that they uh, that they gave you right here and then this slides into your receiver so this hole is about a sixteenth of an inch too high so what happens when you try to slide the the pin through there is that you end up hitting that and you have to wiggle the thing around so what I got I just have a a three eighths inch uh, carriage bolt here and what I'm going to do when I turn it around is I'm going to slide it through there and then That'll, that'll work for now. I don't really want to mess around with reaming that thing out, but uh, a couple other things quick. This thing is sharp, really sharp. I'm not going to want to leave this thing around. The kid's going to get into it. You know, I find myself going to try to grab it like this, and, and I have to catch myself real quick. I mean, this is sharp. I mean, it's not going to slice you quick, but, I mean, it's designed to slice through breastbone. And so uh, you got to try to keep keep an eye on that when you're pulling the thing around um the uh the saw that they have here on the side love it i wish that they had put it on both sides because i find that when i'm uh cutting the the wing off or the legs off then it tends to get gunked up you know and i can only imagine after 10 or 15 of these you know for for those of us that hunt in a group and we get 30 40 birds you know a day yeah, it'd be really nice to to not have to stop and gunk out that you know and mess out that stuff. So if you had one over there, you switch to the other side. Um, it's not too hard to clean. It is something that I feel like is gonna need to get cleaned, you know, just because you're working with meat, and I don't wanna uh, to put this thing away and take it out and have it be all nasty and not know kind of what bacteria may have gotten into it. So it wasn't too hard to clean, but it's the kind of th it's definitely. A bigger process than filleting the breasts out you know and so I'm going to uh, to probably be using using this you know maybe when I I get six eight birds uh, or more um, once again you know I, I overall I'm very impressed with this and um, you know the one other thing and I, I don't expect them to, to include it at all but 
you know, I might end up getting a, a, an extension for my um, receiver so I can, you know, pull it out about 12 inches, you know, from from the receiver in my truck. And in, in that case, what I'm going to be able to do is I'm going to be able to leave the tailgate down. Um, that would be real nice to have all the birds, be able to use my tailgate, have all the birds there, and um, just be able to, to pick them up as I need them. And, you know, you can just have the, the birds on the tailgate and whatever else you need on the tailgate there. And so I'm gonna put this thing in a tote along with probably some, uh, you know, some Clorox wipes or maybe some kind of spray. And I also am going to be putting a, a set of leather gloves in there too. Um, I should not have done this yesterday without putting my gloves on. I should have stopped the video and put them on. Uh, if you slip, you are cutting your hand open, I'll tell you. Especially when you get to um, put more, more weight um, or torque on, on the bird there, like in a snow goose or a Canada goose, uh, you slip and, and your, your hand's getting cut open. So I'm going to wear leather gloves from here on out. Um, wrap it up here. Good luck hunting.